Good afternoon, dear viewers. I'm happy to welcome you on Savalmash channel. This is Alexander Sudorov. And today, in this video, we will speak in a free format which work is being done on the construction site now, what it is done for, and what our builders are to fulfill, and not only builders. In our previous videos, you learned that one of the main tasks is preparation of the future Design and Technological Bureau for the winter season, that is, for frosts. Within the scope of this work, a lot of activities are to be performed, such as connecting utility lines, supplying the building with heat. But before doing that, of course, the thermal contour of the building is to be closed, mounting of the necessary equipment is to be performed for further connection of utility lines. So today, work continues on the construction site in these areas. So what is happening there? Let's start the overview with the ground floor. Subconcrete continues to be poured in the pilot and production part of the building. On your screens you see the final stage. After subconcrete is performed in this part of the building, subconcrete will be poured in the administrative building. Now you can observe how preparation for subconcrete work is happening. And we will actually go back to pouring concrete, but we will do it a little bit later. Now let's go to the mezzanine of the first floor. On the mezzanine, anti-fire treatment has already been performed. Mounting of frameworks of future inter-room partitions has begun. Inter-room partitions themselves have been lifted. And very soon, builders will start mounting the walls. We go up the second floor and we see that now loading of an additional portion of metal constructions is being performed. Loading of the necessary construction materials is performed through a special technological aperture provided for in the design, which will then look like a gate. And after closing the thermal contour and after the building is commissioned, it will continue to perform the same function for loading bulky equipment and materials. The second floor indeed starts to look like a maze and if you don't know the planning, the design of the building, you can get lost easily. Now you can see on your screens that quite many interim partitions are stored, some of them are being mounted. Special attention should be paid now to the back part of the building after the fire gap, even though before it there are things to see as well. You can see on your screens how the framework of future interim partitions is being performed. Please note that the beams are attached to the ceiling. Some of them are connected to the floor. Some of them are yet to be adjusted and mounted. Around lift shafts, mounting of enclosing barriers is being performed. And preparation happens for casing of the shafts themselves. And we need to take into account that all the window frames have been mounted in the pilot and production and the warehouse parts of the building. Only several technological apertures are left which look like windows from the outside, where ventilation systems will be installed. Work continues on staircases, mounting of window frames there is being completed. We can move to the administrative building and we see straight away that most glazing has been performed. The overhanging bay window is entirely closed with panorama glazing and all the window frames have been mounted there. Of course, let's not forget that closing the thermal contour is in link with finalizing roof work. You see on your screens that the builders are at the final stage of roof work above the administrative building. Insulator has been mounted and now all technological apertures are connected and closed. Now let's remember why did we speak about the importance of concrete work. It is that after all subconcrete work is finished, the builders will have to do hydro insulation, then pouring of the first layer of concrete, then reinforcement and then there will be the final layer of concrete applied. After they perform that, the strong company, just like on the second floor of the Design and Technological Bureau, they will start mounting frameworks of the future walls. And as you have seen already, mounting of frameworks is to be performed on the flooring which has already been completed. When this work is done, the thermal contour will be closed, all the enclosing barriers will be mounted, Casing will be completed, which is now in full swing, markets and other parts of the building. Only then will the Astron company be able to leave the construction site. 
having fulfilled all the obligations, and thus all the builder's efforts will be directed towards utility lines. So there is a lot of work being performed, different departments are working, they verify cost estimates, they sign contracts with subcontractors, they bring in materials, they process all of it. And we see all of that live. And thanks to all those activities, the project exists in the format we know. You have probably noticed that a lot of work is being performed in parallel, simultaneously. And it means that the Savalmash team knows exactly what they are to do, and they do all they can to achieve results as quickly as possible. And we need to remember that tempo of construction depends directly on tempo of financing. Each of you has the possibility to influence the tempo of the work being performed on the construction site. To conclude, I want to say one thing. There is work going on on all the fronts. The builders, the designers team and many other people are working on fulfillment of the main task of the project, that is construction of the design and technological bureau. And the situation is really unique, because everyone who wants it can influence the time of constructing the building. How to do that? I'm sure that many of you know that. I wish all of us luck, energy, patience. As they say, the road will rise to meet the one who walks it. That's it. Thank you for your attention and see you soon.